So what are we dealing with here? Gun runners? Gun dealers? It's two women who are counterfeiting coupons. This feels like a lot. You don't think we're coming in a little hot here, boss? Hi. How you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you doing? I gotta say to you, Kristen, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I know you're wondering because it's not your birthday, but do you know it's the 20 year anniversary of Pootie Tang? It is. Tippy Toss. I didn't sign your Pootie on the running card. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my God, what a movie. What a fun what a movie. movie. First I've ever, that was my first ever movie role. I'm going to sign your pity on the running kind. That's, and I know we've, we've been able to enjoy you 20 years on screen. Uh, and and it's, it's amazing. You went from that hilarious movie to this Queen Pins, which is equally hilarious. And it's hard to believe it's not a true story. Like, it's, it's, I, I expected to see based off a true story. Is, this, is there any truth to this? It is. But it wasn't highly publicized. Wow. But it wow. happened in 2012 and they laundered $40 million. Yeah. So after, you know, all these different pay rates for actors and streaming and everything else, have you guys considered going into uh, coupon hustling? Look, the high from give, using a coupon is real. It's very yeah. real. No matter what your savings account look like, looks like, it feels good to use a coupon. Yeah, can we have to demystify this idea that only certain groups of people use coupons? Because That's actually crazy. it's very, very smart to use them. You are being financially responsible and we should encourage everyone to use them. If they're there, use them. We, we, there should be no looking down on people or, or like only oh, certain people like well a certain everyone. group does use coupons smart smart people, people. that's true that's it's how we group. should view the group of people that use coupons is that they are incredibly smart and they are finding ways to literally save and or make money yeah yeah in ways that other people just disregard hurry well I, one one scene i loved was your it was your happy dance when uh you was out there in the driveway having a little beyonce moment and i wonder when you get all these great parts that you've been getting like do you ever like just go out there and do like a little beyonce happy dance moment in, in your driveway I mean, listen i'm always doing a little happy dance in my house like i just have you know you close the door and you just have some fun with yourself you know behind closed doors you have a little dance but that was so fun to do because i think that is the feeling that people have when they when it, that feeling of like dance like you know the saying dance like no one's watching and that's that's what she has i think we all have that moment do you think it's strange? I mean, this movie illustrates it that people do so much more time for such menial things. Like, do you think the time for such menial things? Like, do you think the, the America will ever correct the difference between white collar and and other and petty crimes, so to speak? I don't think we have a choice. We absolutely have to correct it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. But, is it the same way across across the pond, Kirby? Like, do, does does white collar crime get treated with with a slap on the wrist, so to speak, compared to to other crimes? Or is that just an American thing? I think it depends on um, where you are. I think it depends on the people who are committing those crimes. Um, I think, in general, um, most people in the world criminalize poverty and so there are a lot of people who commit crimes almost of necessity to sort of help support their families or to to try and sort of find their way you know we talk about like the ladder some people aren't even in the room to be trying to climb that ladder and so i think that in general we will often criminalize we, we highly criminalize blue collar crime without looking at the causes of it and i think that's global yeah well, i love you too as a as a dynamic duo i love to see our more pictures and I love the fact that in the midst of all these troubles, and everything, everybody's gonna be able to laugh at this movie because me and my friends had a great time uh, screening this and I know everybody else will. Thanks for the time. Y'all be safe out there. Can't wait to see y'all on the other side of the pandemic. Awesome. Thank you.